just to say to all of the all of the beautiful teachers of continuum now this particular sense of the nervous system meeting the mystery mm -hmm. is what we all really deeply love mm -hmm. that is the call really that calls us into this work mm -hmm. and our job is always uh, how do we help someone who is caught in fight flight who's caught in a limited frame of reference and in part it's about having a more creative context for finding movements that that come out of the cultural frame mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which culture it is it mm -hmm. truly doesn't mm -hmm. but it's what what are the soundings, movements, ways of starting to inhabit mm -hmm. um, this body, which is a planetary cosmic body also, simultaneously. And so the context is quite important to create a context of enough safety to take risk mm -hmm. and enough openness um, of permission mm -hmm. for people to start to play around mm -hmm. and begin to find movement. Like, mm -hmm. I wasn't traumatized when I met Emily. I was, you know, I have, everybody has some traumas from their growing mm -hmm. up. It's not, um, not, it's kind of just the nature of life. But I'd never been in such a creative context. Mm -hmm. And so that's my promise for whatever groups I teach, whatever context, it's like how to help the context itself become juicy. Mm -hmm. how to help the co-creation, the sensibility. Mm -hmm. Like, I as a teacher am offering everything that I've ever come to know, all the amazing teachers I've had. But simultaneously, every student in the room is teaching the teacher, mm -hmm. and the teacher is offering to the student. And there's a, there's a, um, the power of the conversation mm -hmm. in movement, in, in the ideas, in stirring the pot of meaning, mm -hmm. in hearing where is someone, and if a meeting or working with someone who's terribly afraid, mm -hmm. just to start to be with, mm -hmm. the being with that mm -hmm. which is afraid mm -hmm. can start a process because the being with capacity is like an open attention. Mm -hmm that isn't in itself afraid. Awareness is not afraid. Mm -hmm. So how do we come and be with that nervous system that's just yearning for something? Mm -hmm. So there's like three threads, I feel, in continuum or in any really good dynamic mm -hmm. creative process, which is one track is healing. We're untangling uh, some of the knots mm -hmm. that got put in. We're some of the tissues, like from an accident, they've frozen in a certain way, and we're helping that free. So there's a healing aspect. There's a creative, like soulful, find one's own soulful voice. What's your medicine? Let's, let's, let's see what helps it come forth, mm -hmm. a creative process. And then there's a third, which is a kind of dissolution. Mm -hmm. It's a melting of identity and... Um, uh, any kinds of fixation of ways of being mm -hmm. and a melting into it's like a moving meditative type space you're mm -hmm. melting into the larger mm -hmm. wholeness really mm -hmm. and learning how to think from the perspective of wholeness mm -hmm. instead of so much fragmentation mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so we yeah. are helping people and that means we each have to do our work yeah yeah that's beautifully and very helpful, I think, for our community to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to access that. But how do you see uh, this work moving uh, further? Mm -hmm. That challenge of how to speak about it mm -hmm. has been there from the very beginning. Yeah. Like witnessing both Emily, um, for all the years, my first years of studying with her, and then as I was teaching and also helping develop the work, ongoing challenge about metaphor and different ways of thinking about it and speaking mm -hmm. about it, and and what was emphasized in the work itself. And I, I'm so grateful. It's like almost 45 years for me now. It'll be 45 years this January to have that rich, long history and watch that it was evolving a lot throughout all this time. And yeah. yet there's certain principles that have always been, like they're like the um, 
the fundamentals yeah. of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then one part that was so beautiful between Emily and I were quite different in any of the current teachers that mm -hmm. some of the teachers knew both of us and some did, don't, didn't yeah. know both of us. So, um, uh, But in that process, because we were so different, there was a, an appreciation of the difference, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. And it helped Continuum have a wider mm -hmm. dynamic range, a mm -hmm. wider spectrum because mm -hmm. of that. And I had the really wonderful um, experience of of feeling like whatever is the deep wave of continuum, if we want to name it in that way, coming through me and me singing the songs that I would sing in the way that I do. And then to go on and help train the whole first round of teachers, which was all about uh, uh, acknowledging the uniqueness of every single one mm -hmm. and the contribution. It's like a good garden. A, a really good, strong garden has a big variety of plants in mm -hmm. it. They're not all trying to be the same, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But it's about communication. Like mm -hmm. an ecosystem that works well is one that each of the species has evolved together mm -hmm. and they can speak to one another and the differences like become important. Mm -hmm. Like what's something's out-breath, the green one's out-breath is our in-breath. Mm -hmm. right? So as we grow as a community, it's really important, our collaboration and our mm -hmm. co-creativity, and to really deeply listen and to um, honor the, the innovations that different people come up with. Mm -hmm. At the same time, while seeing if there's a kind of enough coherency of recognition of what is mm -hmm. something that makes the flavor mm -hmm. of continuum, mm -hmm. right? And I'm thrilled beyond belief that we now have so many people mm -hmm. that have taken this up um, and that are um, bringing uh, unique sensibilities and sensitivities. Mm -hmm. And everywhere, like when I started to travel for the first time, I was the first person that took Continuum to different cultures. Uh -huh. So the first time I went to Finland and, and Germany and I thought, oh my goodness, this could be such a California woo-woo kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, will it be relevant? Will people, like, be interested in this? Mm -hmm. um, and the fat answer was absolutely yes. Mm -hmm. I had to meet certain cultural um, gifts and restraints. Mm -hmm. First time teaching in Japan, oh my goodness, they, everybody was just so quiet. And mm -hmm. then finally, mm -hmm. yeah. But relevant, mm -hmm. relevant, relevant. Mm -hmm. But then this is also the question, is you have to meet people where they are. So we know that we're meeting some of the most tremendous, difficult challenges. We're a planet in crisis, mm -hmm. nature in crisis. Mm -hmm. We're humanitarian crisis. We have justice, social justice crisis. Mm -hmm. We're in a huge, gigantic, I would say human initiatory uh, process right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And this kind of work and any of the works that helps us to be more deeply, profoundly mm -hmm. felt sense connected is important. Mm -hmm. And then also what helps us really deeply dream outside the cultural boxes that have gotten mm -hmm. us in this mess in the first mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. which are dissociation, too much objectification, mm -hmm. too much um, too much um, uh, other is enemy instead of recognition of we need sacred other to keep growing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and to uh, be able to appreciate the differentiation through conversation, through mm -hmm. dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you, the form of continuum changed quite a bit. Because you're, a you're, you're already the, the, you know, the our living example of how the form changed over, over the yeah. years and over the... Um, I guess how the way I, I, I perceive it is how this how this wisdom, this knowledge is moving through, through mm -hmm. our consciousness and through our bodies, and that's mm -hmm. how we can recognize it and start to make sense of it, mm -hmm. finding meanings also at some point that actually this does that or mm -hmm. allow me to see like this or to have this type of experience. Um, is your sense that maybe the form will, will continue to change mm -hmm. as well? And uh, I, I think 
I think the forms will because that's mm -hmm. the nature of creativity is the formings and dissolvings are happening. That's mm -hmm. what happens. Mm -hmm. And so it's not about the form, it's about really deep understanding of the primary values and mm -hmm. principles. Mm -hmm. And then you see where there's the resonance with, with someone. Mm -hmm. Like in my private practice, every single person who enters the door, that's a mystery to me. Mm -hmm. And it's an ongoing mystery for me for, for the entire time that I work with somebody. Mm -hmm. And there's layers upon layers in the psyche and the in the in movement, like we're pouring through what's both creative and healing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're in the excavation of somebody else's dream is living in your in your mm -hmm. in your being in your body and it's not even really your own, right? Yeah. And sometimes it's ancestral. Yeah. And so there's like a there's a lot of peeling of skins that don't really belong. Yeah. Beliefs and, and yeah. um, thought forms and that make a physical manifestation. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think we are in such a time of huge, huge, huge transformation culturally all over the planet, or we won't survive. I mean, and it's like there's a kind of deep capacity of love mm -hmm. that all of us are capable of mm -hmm. and that we can view the world and the planet and the nature processes with mm -hmm. to come back into a far deeper harmony mm -hmm. and maybe that comes back to the word balance mm -hmm. yeah. yeah the balance of how we are um, not trying to any longer engineer manipulate manage it's like wilderness doesn't like to be managed wants to be wild so how to how to um, be wild with uh, I've never been able to see like I never would have imagined all the places I traveled all the ways that this work would unfold me and mm -hmm. take me I would never have guessed from yeah. when I started and yeah. for Emily too I watched her like be totally terrified to mm -hmm. um, travel with the work and really mm -hmm. take it out on the road mm -hmm. and then our studio ended and she had to we all had to mm -hmm. And then the growth that came out of it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're meeting unprecedented crisis and circumstances. Mm -hmm. And um, we need those who can think, move outside of the box mm -hmm. of the conundrums that have gotten us into this mm -hmm. in the first place. So we need feelers, mm -hmm. <laughs> those who can actually sense and feel and have a deep felt sense mm -hmm. and be listening. And it's always in some way like, like the more deeply I can uniquely meet who comes to me, mm -hmm. the better it is. Mm -hmm. If I have a program I want to place on them, mm -hmm. we all know what that's like. If we go for body work or psychology and that we're too much inside of someone's system, it's like never going to work that well. Mm -hmm. Because what any one of us need is, is how to see um, that that unknown that's been mm -hmm. yearning for a new expressivity, mm -hmm. something to come forth. Mm -hmm. And so the more deeply I can meet someone really where they are and then keep proposing different movement and psyche experiments, uh, explorations, and be with them in the mm -hmm. emergence and then watching and feeling for the place where we're both suddenly touched because mm -hmm. there's an insight, there's an understanding, there's a felt sense like ding, ding, ding. oh that's what support feels like oh that's what freedom feels like mm -hmm. oh yeah then we know okay it's an element of surprise mm -hmm. element of wonder and like wonder is such a beautiful thing like i can s stand before like a redwood in, in california i can stand before the redwood and in one sense i know redwood but in the other sense if I can stand before that living presence as a living presence and not know, like really like open to be touched in the immediacy of the moment by that living intelligence and that mm -hmm. living presence and how that's touching me and how is my sight and attention and consciousness mm -hmm. being with that. Mm -hmm. And then we have, a, we have something that's never existed before mm -hmm. is that moment of creative perceiving mm -hmm. happening yes. between both of us. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so that's where I feel like we will find our way mm -hmm. 
in these crises that we're in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the depth mm -hmm. of presence and resonance mm -hmm. and willingness to be touched and willingness to be changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. I, I think, in one sense, the, like the, the dance is always about both trusting for each person to really trust the thread of interest that they have and keep finding the different ways to communicate it. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, to not be self-involved at all. Mm -hmm. It's not about like, what am I doing and what am I bringing and how am I bringing it? It's like, it's like though it is about listening to the deep, the way I often frame it, soul of continuum. Like what is that that arose through Emily, arose through me, arises yeah. through people that get so attracted to this work and to listen, to keep really listening to that. And then it is important that we listen to one another, that mm -hmm. we find our contexts in the meetings and in smaller conversations, conversations like we're having here, where we hear what is, what are you in love with? What are you, what are you streaming and dreaming with on these themes of continuum mm -hmm. and the different aspects of it and how is it unfolding in you? And that is the flavor, like what brought every class of, of, alive in the early days, that flavor was in the room always. There mm -hmm. was a sense of interest, of listening to the field the larger field that's telling us constantly there's larger forces operating. And it's like, if I'm teaching and I get hung up in how am I doing, I always get self-conscious and then mm -hmm. I, you know, a shame wave hits and mm -hmm. I can't think of what to say. Mm -hmm. But if I'm more immediately actually attending both who's in the room and where is the interest popping, where are things happening, I'm simultaneously listening I gave the gesture of behind, below, above, around. It's kind of like a larger mm -hmm. intelligence force wave that's mm -hmm. swimming through and it's going to take individual mm -hmm. expressions. One, one time Emily asked something, somebody was asking her about the creative wave, like how are you finding this? And she then referenced the Beatles and that someone was asking them, how did you, how did you guys like how did you like come up with so much amazing music and become so successful? And it was either Paul or John, I don't know which one, said, ah, oh, we're just riding a wave, man. <laughs> it was true. There was a wave coming in the 60s, and the Beatles had, they, their minds were open in a particular way mm -hmm. that was a, the right moment of singing. They sing about love. They sing about, um, you know, all that, and we were all dancing, I remember as a teenager, like just like dancing to this music and feeling this sense of alive, like something's breaking through the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the stiffness, the, and that we were free to move the pelvis, and you know, free mm -hmm. to have arrows and connection, and they were on the forefront of a big wave, but yeah. there were many, and yeah. the same, we have to be attentive to what is the wave of our times yeah. and what are the demands in our nature, culture, in our humanity yeah. and listening for that and deeply doing our own work, every one of us to yeah. really be doing our own, where we need to clear up, where we're blind, where we're in too much of the um, objectification or consumer, consumerism, yeah. eat up the earth instead of be a gift of the earth. Yeah. that we're meant to be. Wow. So we have to honor, see each other's gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. really help each other. Um, it's like the state of listening. Like if I know how to really listen to you mm -hmm. when you're teaching, when you're teaching, when you're teaching, if I know how to really deeply listen, things will come through you you didn't even know yeah. you were ready to say, right? Mm -hmm. So we both have to be in expressing, trusting what's expressing through us, but really ultimately depth of listening. Yeah. In that, I, my listening, it's like every pore, yeah. every pore of the skin is, is willing to be touched, not defended, not contracted. If it ha I go there at some moment, okay, but then how to open to the larger, um, 
the larger processes and to this to what's actually going on and to dare to be touched mm -hmm. and we have a lot of people burning out in the caregiving world mm -hmm. um, because there is so much crisis and so much trauma we have to have deeper creative life mm -hmm. to meet it because yeah. if you try to meet it from an ordinary place mm -hmm. and too much empathy and not enough um, view mm -hmm. zoom out mm -hmm. zoom out vast big mm -hmm. view like yeah. space itself can hold everything that's occurring mm -hmm. earth is holding everything that's occurring like yeah. bond with that connect mm -hmm. with that the waters connect with that like mm -hmm. that that personal and personal yeah. intimate vast simultaneously yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Maybe that's how the form of uh, the different form of continuum are yeah. also emerging and changing yes. over time yeah. according to this yes. you know, context. Yeah. We're needed. That's mm. all I want to say. We are needed. Okay. This world needs what we have. And the more that we're on the computer, the more we're in the virtual world, the more people need a somatically wise astronaut, somanaut. Mm. Yeah. I think we need you, Susan. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much yes, for welcome. this time together. Yeah. And um, thank you. And uh, yeah, it's a great gift yeah. you've been thank giving. You. Thank, thank you. you.